Hey guys, in today's tutorial I'll be taking you through how to use the boolean tool. Um, so the boolean tool can be found in the create panel and you go to compound objects and it will be located in just the object types here. So what we want to do is to standard primitives and create a box. And then we'll also use a sphere. Oh. Sphere cutting through like that. We'll move it. And what you want to do is select the box and go back into compound objects and press boolean. And what this does, if you have your operands, and in the operands you have different types of booleans you can do. So there's union, intersect, subtract, merge, attach and insert. Some of these ob uh, operands are actually very similar to each other, but I'll go through what each of them do. So with union, if we go to add operands and click on the sphere, what this does essentially is makes them connect together. If we go to standard and change this, sorry, default shading and change it to wireframe override, we can see that the faces of the sphere have been joined with the box. And if we change this to intersect, we can see that the box has uh, outer shell has removed against the sphere. If we go to subtract, we can see that uh, the, the box has subtracted the sphere and now it has that kind of uh, outer layer. If we press merge, essentially what this does is merges the two together. And that way you can still see the box's outlines as well as well as the faces of the box and also the sphere. If we attach it, this essentially means the, the, the full sphere is still showing as well as the box. And if we insert it in, we still have the full sphere but the box is inserted in. So from this, if I go back to Default shading. I'll just show again what each of these do. On the outside, attach, merging, union, insert, and subtract. Cool. Now, what we can do is actually create random objects using Boolean. So, what I'm going to do is actually just delete all this for now. And we're going to go create a box. Hi, we'll just make it um, 30, 30, 30, and 100. Give it segments of maybe five, 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 and 10. So let's change this and add in edges faces. So what I want to do is probably give it a twist actually. Angle it. Yeah, I guess 60.5. And if I clone this and use it as an instance. And also mirror it. Go OK. Now, if we go back and go to the Boolean, Scott Box 2, go App Operands, and click on the other box. Go through 
intersect. We can see it's kind of cut off the sh shoulders. Subtract. Kind of get this funky, uh, funky box that's just been removed. Merge. Attach and insert. Might actually go with intersect. That's looking quite nice. We go to modify, and maybe we want to go lattice. And I'm going to scroll down and decrease the radius of the joints. Make them 0.5. Make these one meter. And yeah, that's basically how you use, can use the Boolean function to aid in your design. Thank you. That's